Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. And today I'm gonna to try the first official run with a diamond etcher on glass on my Bob's CNC E4 machine. I've done a couple trial runs and now it's gonna be official. But let me show you what I've done so far and then we'll go into the project that I'm running and we'll see how it turns out. So this is the design I've come up with. The name of the company is Crafted Coffee and I just uh, made this little slogan for them. The size of the glass is 16 wide by 12 tall. Now I have a thickness of 0.75 which is irrelevant here since we're just scribing on the glass. And so I'm telling it to come from the top surface. Currently we are on center so I can work with the design. But we are going to move that down to this point right here, lower left hand corner, so my X and Y's are positive, but not yet. I have to do a couple things, and here's, I want to show you what I've done. First of all, all three fonts I downloaded from Google Fonts, and they are free. So you can type in Google Fonts, and then uh, there's instructions on how to install it on your computer. Very simple. Two things I had to do, of course, with the, the, the script is I had to weld it together. And then I got this little swirl when I did a search for swirl in Google and got this image and then I had to connect it to the T. So we are pretty much ready to go. I've got the border. I'm leaving enough room for my clamp, which is a very light clamping that you need to do. And what I have to do is I have to reverse all this because these, this lettering if you look at it from the front, it looks a little jagged. So when you look at it from the back side, it looks actually quite good. So we are going to mirror this about center. We click mirror and we are going to flip about job center. We don't want to create a mirrored copy. Uh, we want to lose the old copy, basically is what that's doing. And we want to flip it horizontal. And there it is. So this is what we are going to engrave. This is the tool that I'll be engraving with. This is a Widget Works diamond engraver with a quarter inch shank on it. The engraving tip is 120 degrees. They also have a 90 degree for finer engraving. But I'm etching on glass, so I'm just working with what they sent to me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a backing for it. So I've got some construction paper from Walmart now I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've ever gone to Walmart and spent 54 cents for two sheets of this black paper. And I'm just gonna cut it out. And this will also enable me to see what's happening and the black backing will go with the sign to the store. So this is my setup. I have the glass, obviously, and underneath it is the blackboard or construction paper and the machine home is my zero start point for my X and Y and my zero of course is the top of the surface now if you look at my clamps you can see I'm not clamping a whole lot and I'm keeping my clamps very low profile what I've discovered is as long as you are holding the material securely enough that's all you need you don't have to keep it ultra tight. So I'm just going to give it a little extra squeeze here and we are good. Everything is clean. I vacuumed the entire surface of the table to make sure uh, this whole glass is clean. I'm not seeing any movement or feeling any movement anywhere. So we are ready to run. So let's see how the sign turns out.
so I had to stop and uh, reprogram a couple of times. One thing I wanted to program the outline of this word right here, and I had to come back in to re etch the crafted coffee part uh, because it wasn't strong enough because of this. And I also added my logo or a made by. So let's take a look. First time making a sign after some experiments. Let's see what we get. Well, crafted coffee is definitely not as strong as elegant. However, I think this came out quite good. And let's see how that came out. Made by IDC Woodcraft. Oops, <laughs> I had a space here and I forgot to put a space there. But that's okay, it still came out. Lessons learned. And... That's just scuffing on the glass, I guess. I'll have to clean it up and take a look. But overall, not bad for a first time with the scribe. <laughs> One of the things is that thing sounded like fingernails on a chalkboard magnified times 10. This project ran about an hour and 15 minutes, I would say. Overall, I'm quite pleased. So there you have it. Widget Works, a uh, glass engraving tool, held up beautifully through that run. Um, a little nerve wracking with the noise that it puts out. Uh, Bob's CNC E4 also did a very nice job at keeping up with this. So. I am very happy with both. If you got anything out of this, leave a comment down below, like the video, and I will talk to you next time.